what is up guys my name is Ruben Darum and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn your boring old cassette into a fresh trendy brand new free coaster so without further ado let's get right into this okay so this literally is the easiest thing ever you guys don't need to remove your chain so you won't need a chain breaker nothing like that all you guys need is a little allen key to fit this little bolt here connecting your sprocket to your crank so I'll zoom in on that later and show you guys how to do that but pretty much um, this is super easy it's super fun uh, my friend showed me how to do it yesterday I'll play this here. Um, and yeah pretty much I had no idea you could do this um, so you know for those of you that don't and you guys want to try a free coaster uh, pretty much this is your best way so I'll get right into it now okay so you guys are gonna want to get your Allen key that fits into this little bolt right here and literally all you guys are going to want to do is just loosen it off it is that simple so let's go ahead and do that right now all right so in some cases you guys might find that after taking off the bolt your wheel is still engaging um that's simple so pretty much you know yesterday uh, same thing happened to my friend, but we didn't have a solution, but your boy came through and found that right now So pretty much all you guys are gonna want to do is get your you know Allen key or whatever that fits inside this little bolt on the side of your cranks here So do that right now And you're just gonna want to loosen it a little bit not too much that your cranks, you know loose and waving around all the place but just enough to um, You know allow it to not engage so do that right now and there, all it took was a tiny little, not even like a quarter, quarter turn, like it was like, it was tiny, legit tiny. So, you know, still make sure your cranks are fairly tight. So I might just tighten mine a little bit more, just to see if it'll work. There you go, still works, and it's, you know, pretty tight, so, yeah. So yeah, that's all you guys gotta do. If it doesn't work, just loosen your drive side crank a little bit, not too much and you should be sweet to go. Alrighty, so while I'm at it, I'm just gonna show you guys how to put it back in because there were a few issues with it yesterday. Um, so yeah, pretty much. All you guys are gonna do is just fit it into the hole, so align your crank up with the hole in your sprocket and just tighten it a little bit. And then if you guys try pedal, you might see, oh, my sprocket's kinda straight, but you might see that your sprocket is kind of wobbly and all over the place. So to fix that, all you guys got to do is just tighten your crank up again a little bit. So All right. And then after you've done that, while you're tightening, just to be extra sure, just kind of push down on the whole sprocket and crank. Just kind of get your fingers behind and just real push against the uh, bottom bracket. And then just finish up tightening it on. And then, yeah, your sprocket should be straight and good to go. So there you have it guys, it really is that easy, just taking off one bolt and you guys are pretty much good to go, trying out sort of like a free coaster. Um, of course, the only thing you guys will notice is that we'll, there will be no engagement in the wheel, but that's pretty obvious because, you know, 
on an old free coaster wheel, there is always that slight slack, and in this engagement, but with this, you're completely disconnected from the drive chain, so there will be no engagement, but, you know, it, it wasn't that hard. All you guys got to do is just push, um, but, you know, get, for getting the feel, you know, of free coaster-wise, you know, doing fakies and tricks like that, it is really good to uh, try it out. So, yeah, those clips you guys saw before, um, that was about 10 minutes of me trying out this free coaster. Um, I'm pretty stoked I actually got that sketchy full cab, kind of, because that was the first try. Well, not first try, that was, that was my first one I've ever landed on a free coaster. And, yeah, I'm sure, you know, if I ever do start riding free coaster, I'll definitely dial those up. So, yeah. But overall, riding free coaster like this is really fun. Um, and, you know, it saves you having to spend a lot of money on a free coaster hub. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or problems with this, I doubt you guys will. It's pretty straightforward. It's you know pretty simple. Drop them below in the comments. I'll get back to you guys. I'm sure pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, drop subscribe too. So yeah, next time if you know you're out sessioning and you feel like you're getting a bit bored doing the same old cassette stuff, just simply remove that bolt between your crank and your sprocket, and you know try out some free coaster stuff. You never know, you might enjoy it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.